Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. I have upped the volume a little bit of my commentary because I think last time around when things got a little bit hectic, I was a little bit quiet. So I've turned up the volume a little bit just so as you can hear my wonderful voice at all times. Some might say that's a problem. But anyways, we're going to go talk to Judy, see how Evelyn is. I doubt she's going to be back on her feet anytime soon. But I want to do everything I can to get her back on her feet. Because she is, at present, the only lead we have. Uh, I will go there in a second. What's it? Oh. Oh, it's just people. Hello. Fidel At Atiek? A tech? I'm not sure how you would pronounce hey, that. Hey, ten cuidado! Don't tell me what to do. What are you doing? Hey, I know you got food. Give me some. And if I don't? Squirt? What are you gonna do? Locked. Locked. Oh, there's Judy's van. Alright, that's cool. Who are you? Why are you standing outside the van? Okay, seems fine. Okay. Thought there might have been something knocking about, but... Yeah, well, get out of my way then. Let's go and see what's up. Oh, so this is actually Judy's apartment. This is very Judy, actually. Her bathroom has her washing machine and everything in it as well. <laughs> I don't... Oh, that's a sink, is it? Yeah. Sink mirror. Okay, yeah, wasn't sure what that was for a second. Seventy-five years of cyberware. I think we've already got that, but I'll take it anyway. She actually keeps the place surprisingly clean, apart from the pile of clothes over here. Like considering the state of some places we've seen, this is actually quite well maintained. Oh, I like this. This She's looks sick. great. Well, she's been doing that. At least I think she is. Her eyes are closed and she's not shaking anymore. So I would have positive. already killed her by now if I didn't feel so bad for her. We'll come back to you in a second. Why be me? Confessions of a brain damage addict. The Green Death. I have no idea what that is. No, that's not the one I wanted. It's the next one. There we go. Oh, no. There we go. Oh, it, is it a book? Okay, I think it's a book. Okay, I thought it was actually like a real world event. Thornton. Owner's manual. What's Thornton? You're now the proud owner of a Thornton. You're proud to offer a Thornton guarantee for reliable and convenience at an affordable price. Before you embark on a new adventure behind the wheel of your new... Oh, it's the van. Okay, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Is that the... Yeah, that's the spider drone that we had in the heist, I think. Rewiring synoptic pockets. Anything in your fridge? Hmm. Okay. Uh, how's she holding up? How's she feeling? <laughs> Use your imagination. That place sucked every last drop of humanity from her. It's not enough. She already gave up everything she had. I just kept taking more and more. She's in some kind of trance, like she's folded into herself. No reaction to her surroundings whatsoever. When you say it's I that really, place... I really didn't want to poke around in her head. I did it for you. I just want you to know that. I appreciate that. But when you say that place sucked everything from her, are you talking about uh, clouds? Or are you talking about the scavengers we saved her from? I need to talk to her. Listen, I know you've got some serious questions that she's got the answers to. I mean, if I were you, I'd want to know too. You don't know the half of it, Judy. But it's just not going to happen. She's completely out of it. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Where is he? See inside? Am 
I just being really blind? Or is he like here? Oh, hello. I didn't even see this room. Take the item components. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, hello. This could be information. Shopping list. Of course she has a shopping list on her computer. High index contact lenses. Boys with sensors. Neural signal augmenter. Idea. Pain circuit breaker for dolls. Once the max pain threshold is reached, the session automatically shuts down. The client receives a fine. That's a fantastic idea, Judy. I love it. Oh. Hey, it's been like a thousand years since we saw each other. What's up with you, girl? You still cooped up in Susie's basement? Still with Maiko? Hoping at least one of the, one of those things isn't true anymore. So I've got a tiny favor to ask. Okay, it's more like a humongous favor. Super important to me, but should be a breeze for a geek like you. Holler back at me. Mind straight up, tell me what's going on. This got anything to do with your previous messages? And yes, one of those things isn't true anymore. I need you, I need you to scroll a virtue for me. That's it, I promise. In exchange, I'll make sure you don't have to do anything for the rest of your life but art. Let's just meet, okay? Where can I find you these days? <laughs> Susie's basement. <laughs> so she's confirmed that the <laughs> whoever this Maiko is, she's no longer seen. Sydney Roberts. I'd like to explore my options about an unlawful juvenile detention when I was 16 years old. Pretty sure I owed some kind of compensation. I'm looking for a lawyer who can take on this case for 10% of the awarded sum. So this is from Judy. To whoever Sydney Roberts is. I'm assuming it's some sort of lawyer. Hello, can you please provide more details? How are you so sure the sentence was unlawful? I was convicted for stealing a fire truck and for the illegal use of property belonging to the fire department. Except I didn't steal that truck. I found it in a scrapyard and fixed it up. It took me half a year, but when, it, when I was done, it looked better than factory new. They busted me on my first ride. Nobody believed that I didn't steal it. Winning compensation from the city council is extremely difficult and, in my opinion, not worth the trouble. So you don't believe me either. Thanks for nothing. From Evelyn. Hey Jude, sorry about earlier today. I was pissed at Susie's and you took the flack for it. it could, this doesn't give me an idea of time frame. I don't know. I know you. Know how you work, but you played the wrong hand. I know. Talk to her again once you're both chilled. I'm sure it'll be fine. I doubt it. Hey, I'm looking for a BD actor. Client wants as little chrome as possible. Age doesn't matter. No one who'd be up for it. Eddies aren't spectacular, but they're not terrible either. I'll ask. That's it. Two words. Everything all right? I don't know, Judy. Everything's been nagging at me lately. Starting to think I wasn't made for this. Sleazy clients, porn, piss poor conditions, shitty Eddies. Wasn't meant to turn out like this. We deserve more, don't we? Rajiv Ray. Singhad Studios. Movie production studios. Interesting offer. Hi, we're one of the biggest movie production studios in the world. I'd like to offer you the chance to work in a young, dynamic team with flexible working conditions and the chance to create an eye-popping portfolio. <laughs> I love that. Flexible working conditions probably means you get a couple of hours off a week. <laughs> Stop messaging me. Need your advice from Roxanne Sumner. Name means nothing to me. Hey, I had a really weird sitch with a client. I met him at the bar when I was offline. He said he'd been coming to me exclusively for a few months and that he wanted to get to know me. We talked a lot, he's a corpo. Said his job isn't that different to mine because he also has to put on an act all day. Like, he has to play golf with his boss, who he hates or whatever. Seems kinda nice. Now he wants to meet up outside of clouds. What do I do? Take him to Lizzie's so we can keep an eye on you, just in case. And keep a stunner on you. <laughs> yeah. Working with us. Channel N N54. The biggest TV broadcast channel in NC. Some of your BDs recently fell into our lap and were really impressed. I'd like to offer you the chance to work in a young dynamic team of artists like yourself with flexible working conditions and the chance to create eye-popping portfolio. <laughs> Same one. Hi Judy, did you receive my last message? We'd really like you to consider our offer. I assumed no answer was enough. Hi Judy, of course I understand. Let us know if you change your mind. So it's almost word for word the same. Um, almost word for word the same. Except the biggest TV broadcast channel NC biggest movie production studios in the world we'd like to offer you a chance to work in a young dynamic blah blah we'd like to offer you a chance to work in the young dynamic so clearly someone wants her okay that's interesting it looks like she wasn't too happy with Evelyn Evelyn kind of came back into her life unexpectedly 
be interesting to kind of pick that apart and see what what happened there. Okay, you're mad at her. Why? You're mad at her. Why? When you asked me to scour her behavioral chip, I was just about done dealing with your shit. Judy, I didn't have any... I know. It's okay. So I don't get why... You'll find out in a sec. Oh. I'll show you the virtue I found. Yikes. You've watched them already? Guessing you saw them already. Yeah. I had to wrestle to make sense of the whole thing. But I don't want to say anything and taint your perspective. You should go in with fresh eyes. Okay, how many BDs are there? How many BDs did you manage to rip? Two. Only one of them's intact. Understandable, though. The rest... Well, they're in the same shape as Evelyn right now. Damn. Okay. Okay. Show Let's me. have a look. Give me a sec while I set the parameters. Guess we'll find out if our doll really did lose her tune. Come on, V. What? I'll be the first to admit, this does not look good. No, it doesn't. It's not like you to be actually, like, concerned. What is that? Hey, how you feeling? Need anything? Not here to nag. Just talk. Of course, she's not gonna respond. Oh, that's a move. She reacted to that. Well, now, look at you. really need your help, Evelyn. Listen, Evelyn, I really need your help. It's important. If I don't do anything and do it soon, I'll die. Just in case there's some weird... Like in, um, like some... The way that some coma patients have, like, said they can hear what their family or friends are saying at their bedside. Just, just in case might be the case here and she can't actually process what's going on around her just so is so as we uh, so she knows we're here and we need our help have a seat oh i really hope you haven't realized we were going through that <laughs> fuck <laughs> i just left it open like you can literally see it <laughs> whoops all right roll it Data was in pretty rough shape. Not all that editable. Huh. Glad you managed to salvage him in the first place. All right, Needs here we go. a second to load. Quality's lousy, but I did what I could. Oh, something. That's all I need. Something to, what something am I looking to work out with. For? Every single piece of tech I see, security. We need a layout of the whole room. We will get everything else we need from the virtue. What Is about that his messages? Key bug? Only if you can do it and be parfait bully. No. It's That's most important that he suspect nothing. Try to be your usual relaxed self. And if he starts talking about the biochip himself, uh, should I. Biochip? Will you hear this? That is not of interest to you. You spin the virtue, you come back here. We give you the eddies. That is your one job. The rest is none of your concern. Understand? Okay. Well, we've watched it from first person perspective. Take a look around if you want. Let's uh, start it from the start. What am I looking out for? Who are Can't you? see your face. No. <sighs> Under normal circumstances, that kind of encryption's easy to crack. But not this time. Whoever she is, she's got serious net running skills. That, or someone's working it for her. Interesting. Okay, so. 
It's a church. That's a cross. Okay, yeah, pews, that makes sense. Altar. Hologram. I think I recognize these. What are they? Typically Being associated with food. Are you familiar with them? Not enough to know what they actually mean. Heard of who might use them, though. Who? Could be the voodoo boys. But that's just a hunch. Can't be 100% sure. The spine chin and net runner crew? Hard to find because they don't want to be. Yeah. I wouldn't know where to start. That's fine. That's where, that's where we come in. Every single piece of tech I see, security. Flyers. What flyers? Where are we seeing flyers? There on the floor? Yeah. Interesting. Doesn't seem to want to let me scan them properly though. We need a layout of the whole room. We will get everything else we need from the virtue. What about his messages? Any sound? Only if you can do it and be parfait bully. It's most important that he suspect nothing. Try to be your usual relaxed self. And if he starts talking about the biochip himself? Oh, now we can look at the flyers, okay. Might not be important. Maybe, but all Pacifico. of them are from Pacifica. Pacifica. Narrows down our search, at least. So a church right in Pacifica. Looks like I'm going on a field trip to Pacifica. Okay. I feel like... That's probably... Yeah. And if he starts talking about the biochip bio himself... Were you here? Should I... That is not of interest to you. You spin the virtue, you come back here. We give you the eddies. That is your one job. The rest is none of your concern. Understand? Okay. I don't think there's anything else to look for. Be interesting to know who that is, though. All right. Think we got everything. So a church in Pacifica. That's our lead. What do you think? Woman who hired Evelyn. Any idea who we're up against? Your guess is as good as mine. Sorry, V. Yeah, now I know why they wanted to kill her. Now we know what happened to Clouds. They're the ones who tried to flatline her. Yeah. Launched a nuke at her chip. So it was punishment? For getting played by her? She knew more than they thought she knew. Couldn't let that go. So that's who she was running from. But why did she go back to Clouds, then? Looks like Evelyn never told us the whole truth. You're telling me. If I'd known what she'd gotten herself into... Ugh. I'm so mad at her. Her only job was to record a virtue. Pretty damn amazing she managed to organize a full-blown heist. And swipe the biochip from under her boss's noses. Yeah. So that's where you came in. She hired you. And brought this all on herself. On you two. Yep. There's one more recording. Wanna see it? Yeah? Sure, why not? Nothing can surprise me at this point. You say that. I'm not convinced. Oui. Oui, allez. Vous avez une raison, nous êtes tous intelligents pour ça. I don't speak enough French to know what that said. That's not any... That's not any version of French I've ever seen. I think that might be a... A dialect of French spoken outside of France. Oh, it's not French. No. It, well, it is, Haitian but... Creole. It is the voodoo. Yeah, place. it's French, but it's being Didn't spelled I... differently. Wait, let me see if I've got an auto translator. Meantime, you try to tune into the phone's frequency. See what the other side's saying. Because there's, there was a couple of words there I picked up, particularly towards the end. 
Who's on this one? Yeah, Trebien. Two different words, not spelt that way. The second to last word there, travailler. That's the French word, the, the verb to work, but it's also not spelled anything like that. It's spelled like T R A I V. There's, there's two L's, E R, at the end of that word. So it's it's not French, but it's something similar. I don't know if that's going to be important at all. But it, it's, it's a dialect of French that I've never seen before. Okay, so bring it back to the start. Let's just have a look around. I have no idea where we are. Who's this? Oops. Who's this dude? Jacob Ariti. Don't know if he'll be important. I'll try scanning the phone. Got it. Give it a second. Yeah, I heard something about Yorinobu. Heard her mention Yorinobu. Probably why Evelyn buried this recording deep. Cut another name. Something like Silverhand? I didn't hear Silverhand. We have to know what they're saying. Could be important. Hmm. Fine. Just found the auto transit package. Should get along fine with your system. I'll install it now. Are we good to go? Okay. Excuse me, I'm good. She's not there. Yeah, she's not there. Best route to Yorinov, we must take this risk. Interesting. I wish I shared your confidence that Silverhand will lead us to... Is that Ait or Alt? I have no idea. Interesting. You have a better idea? Then if you're done... Yeah, Très Bien, good. Very good. Then if you're done questioning my judgment, can you get back to work? So I was right. Work. Right, okay. All right. Okay. So they knew Johnny was on that biochip. There's no way they would be after it if they, you know, and mentioned Silverhand if they didn't know that. So they, they know exactly what's up. Okay, Judy, we're good. They know exactly All right, what happened, Johnny. Which means I don't they get it. maybe at some point What's this have to do with Johnny Silver worked with them. He died like forever ago. Fifty years ago. Hey, you got any idea? Uh, I do, Judy. And you know what? I'm gonna trust you. And I feel like I shouldn't. Because I shouldn't be tearing this with people, but you yeah, have done it, so much it. for me. And Johnny's gonna hate that I do this. Biochip we stole. It's got silver hands and engram burned onto it. Engram? Digitized psyche. Personality construct. That was Can a weird you face for a give whistle. Me a minute. I need to go over some stuff in my head. Um, of course. That's code for we need to talk to this <laughs> to Johnny that's in our fucking head. <laughs> know who they are, who the woman is? Any idea how we They know you. Them? Fuck V. I've been dead the last half century. Sorry if I'm unable to hand you all the answers on a chrome fucking platter when you snap your fingers. Yeah, oh, so it is alt. It wasn't an I. A-L-T. These people, what could they want from alt? How the hell should I know? Got no notion whatsoever? One way or another, everything leads back to that net runner. Finding her is our biggest priority. If she knows as much as I think she knows about the chip, she can help us out. Thought you said nothing could help us. Nah, just find us that juju wirehead. Okay. <laughs> Juju Wirehead. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to find her, cause 
I, re I don't know, because if they know about Johnny being on the chip, then they have to have worked with Arasaka at some point. Maybe they're part of the way... Maybe maybe because they're such good netrunners, they were the people who designed how the chip would work and get his personality Wait, onto it. You got any idea how to get in touch with the Voodoo Boys? Nope. Why? Worried that I'll give Evelyn up to him? No. I didn't trust you at first, but... Well, if you wanted to get back at Evelyn, you would have done it already. So why the worried look? I just... I want it all to work out for you. You got a plan? No, I don't. I'll ask around. I'll ask around. Make a few calls. Let me put it this way. The Voodoo Boys wouldn't trust a cat if it walked onto their turf. Yeah. But someone's got to know a way in. Well, good luck. I hope you won't need it. Thanks, Judy. No, V. Thank you. You're a... You're a good person. Thank you. Evelyn could never see what was under people's skin. If she could have gotten to know you a bit better, then... Who knows? Things might have turned out differently. Hmm. Thanks. Okay, well... We know... Oh. Whoa. Why is... Johnny, what the fuck are you doing? Everything started to go a bit glitchy, I thought. Johnny was fucking around. Okay, map. Map. Tan Helen. Call Mr. Hans. Well, we know the Voodoo Boys are behind all this, so that's one step forward. Problem is, now we have to reach them somehow. Two steps back. There are a lot of things to be found in Pacifica, just usually not what you're looking for. Good news is, you already got your fixer. Your mom's out of face to help you. Find this fart in the wind. Sounds like a fun fucking delight. Okay, well, yeah. The fixer of Pacifica. That's definitely probably a good place to start. I do want to do this next, though. Um, I love the idea of meeting up with someone from Johnny's past and the afterlife is just a fucking cool ass place um but I said a while ago we were gonna do it so we're gonna do it I want to try this it says very high danger but I want to give it a go you also got a level up I really want to know what this is I really want to know right um our technical ability feel like it's struggling a little <laughs> um so i think i'll put a point into it. it it increases our armor by five percent for each point which would be nice um gain more components when disassembling junk items are automatically disassembled will be nice um what have we got in engineering Reduces damage taken from explosions. When looting drones, mechs and robots, 25% chance of looting a weapon mod or attachment. And you need to all effects from your own grenades. Explosion. Okay, so yeah, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna take. We have a fair amount of components already, so. This just seems like very. Slice of. Like. Not slice of life, as in the word. Um, quality of life. Like, real easy, so you don't have to go in and do it yourself. It might come in handy later, and I feel like it's probably needed to get to these other stuff. Um, so, I'm going to get this one that allows me to make rare items. Uh, where? Crafting. Here we go. Okay. Uh, so, these are rare items. The Nova. We could just make it. Craft will game a random damage type. We can't make this stuff, can we? Yeah, we, we don't. Oh, yeah, that's... A, we've already picked up this stuff. We already have it. I think the Nova is what we already have. Uh, contagion, non-lethal. What about... Oh. oh, I see. So, can we only make stuff that we've... Picked up or disassembled? Is that... 
Is that how it works? Over here. Uh, I actually, I'm not sure if I have that. Because if I, if I don't have that, I want it. Uh, I don't have it. And I do want it. So we're going to make it. Uh, quick axe. Overheat. Oh, hold down. Cool. Right. Uh, no. Cyberware. Operating system. Uh, Reboot optics have come in pretty handy. Uh, how much health the target is missing. I'm going to take that out for overheat. I would like a better operating system. I haven't gotten anything more here. I still haven't figured out how to use that. Okay. Alright. Well, this is probably quite far away, isn't it? Oh, Jesus, yeah. Oh, no, that's not too bad. Uh, oh, it's at Arasaka Tower, which is where we were, to be fair. Uh, where's the nearest fast travel point? Oh, it's literally right beside me. Okay. That's cool. Let's go hit that up. Oh, Regina. Hey, V. The NCPD got a call about a cyber psycho and actually sent a patrol this time, but it's been a few hours with no report back. Either those cops got scared and bounced, or... Anyway, could you check it out for me? Be much appreciated. Yeah, I'll, I'll check it out in a bit. This is what I'm looking for. If you zero the badges, and there's no way in hell Maxac is going to bring him in alive. With the best chance he's got of getting out of this in one piece. Okay, so. Arasaka Tower. Let's go. <sighs> I have a feeling this may not go particularly well. Give it our best go anyway. Sneaking, we're good at, so we should be able to sneak in reasonably effectively, I hope. Okay, here we go. Okay, what have we got? Oh, these are big boys. Crack them with anything? Yes. Let's see where they go. This dude is looking right at me. There's another one there. He's looking away. That other dude, is he going away? He is going away. So let's let's hit that. Commencing patrol. Oh. Okay, I can't do that to people who are stronger than me. Not good. Not good. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> I might need to come back later for this. Too strong for me. Which is fine. Which is fine. We can we can definitely come back for that. Uh, what were these? Shooting range. Tower graffiti. I have no idea what this is. Everything else is really high. 
I paid in full pay for death to the victor. I'm curious about this. Let's go, let's go have a look at that. That's not too far. Pick up some speed along the way. Bobbing and weaving, boys. Bobbing and weaving. Whoa! Dude! What the fuck? What'd you do that for? Who's driving here? I love that there's like different weather conditions. That's that's great. V in your line of work. One must be quick and punctual. Since you seem to struggle with both, I figured you could use a motorcycle. If you can have only one, let it be the best. The Yaiba Kusanagi. I happen to have one for sale. Buy it, and you will not regret it. I, I like the arch though. I like what I got. I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, Japan town. Whoa. I'm not sure if that's due to weather conditions or if that's just <laughs> the bike and it's handling. I think it, it does actually feel a little bit harder to control. So I think it might actually be harder to drive in the rain. Oh, whoa. Claire Russell. Who the hell is Claire Russell? Hey, I don't think I know you. I'm Claire. You might not remember me. Bartender at the afterlife. Oh. oh forgot to close my tab. Why is a buzz about you lately? It's the bark who's reliable, gets things done. And since I need help. Okay. Need a driver for street races. Street races. Drop by my auto shop. I'll tell you. Oh. You owe me some ready. Yeah. Absolutely. Garage. Where is it? An no. Arroyo on Valley. Lovely spot. Can't miss it. All right. Try not to. I like the sound of races. I'm not there when you arrive. Just hang. I'll show up after my shift at the after. Okay. See you, Claire. <laughs> Mindless fucking consumerism wins the day again. Point for the other team. Huh. huh. This is why you don't bring back fallen warriors. Huh. Sooner or later, they're gonna see everything they fought for is turned to shit. Yep. So what used to be here? Maybe there is still I'm a club ready. downstairs. You daddy? Hey. I don't recognize you. Rainbow Cadenza mean anything to you? Oh no, another one. Aren't you too young Feeling for this? Tired, to what now? Powerless. Every day, Nine some more. sad grandpa in his old leather comes in here, asks where is his up. old Rainbow Club. And I'm like a broken record. Tell all of them the corp brought them out 20 years ago. <sighs> I should put up a sign. Maybe you should. Know anything about bootlegs from the Rainbow Cadenza days? Like, say, I don't know, samurai stuff? Samurai. Samurai. Oh, that ugly red face on black? Yeah, even I know that one. You do? Old guy comes by here sometimes wearing their shirt. Spends the whole time yakking with his psycho fan friends. Wouldn't happen to know where I could find him? You can find him living back in the 2020s. <laughs> but besides that, he's out there in the market. We shopping? I mean, he does his shopping there? Just passing through. I mean, you can do yours at his spot. Okay, so you gotta do you want to. He sells ancient dusty tapes of ancient dusty indie bands. Nice. No one's heard of a single one of them. Cream. Thanks. That's perfect. This is what I'm talking about. That's samurai, all right. Hey, looking for some good. Got any laser pops? Something from us, cracks? 
Don't sell no scop here. You either want good music or rainbow bright shite. Shut up, Jim. It's a joke. <laughs> laser pop. Fucking laser pop here at my stand. Is that Johnny's old guitar? Heard I can get some decent tunes here. What you mean by decent? We got Cartesian Duelist, Uridine stuff, Tainted Overlord. Any samurai? Shit, you even got an ass? Never fade away. Dancing with my axe, chipping in, you name it, we got it. Silverhand was the one true messiah of rock. I'd hand them records out like candy if I could. But a guy's gotta eat. Silverhand's biggest fan. See, I found Silverhand's biggest fan. And proud of it. Today's bitty box rockers can't even touch it. Silverhand had something they couldn't even do. Uh, Silverhand? He had that fire, kid. Fire! Guy shook the foundations of the corporal world. He died for his ideals. Doesn't matter, he was also kind of a terrorist. Blaze way down the rebel path. Probably a quote from the song. All right, I'm looking for some samurai. Yeah, looking for the real deal. <laughs> like, say, bootlegs from Samurai's first gigs. Fuck. First, you have got no idea what you're asking for. Not if you're so, so chilled about it. Don't know how you found out about them bootlegs, but forget it. Not gonna give them to the first gonk off the street. I ain't no gonk off the street. Yeah, I know what Johnny's last word is carry with. Know everything there is to know about Silverman. Go on. Impress me. Know what he told Carrie the last time they met. Called him a pussy. Told him to stop being one. Yeah, sure. I could think of a million conversations they had. There were no witnesses. Yeah, I remember the gigs. Ah, I used to come here back when it was still Rainbow Cadenza. Bootleg sure would make a nice souvenir of the good old days. Cut the scop. You're too young to remember the first samurai gigs. Weren't even a twinkle in your daddy's Kuroshis. Hey, appearances can be deceiving. How do you know this pretty face ain't an implant? All right, punk. Prove it. How'd Samurai's third ever gig end? Still help here, Johnny? Hey, Johnny, get your digital ass out here. Feed me my lines. How about this? Fuck you, V. Ain't your <laughs> stupid sidekick. Well, can't wait all day. You want these bootlegs, dude? Fucking hell, Johnny. Why the sabotage? Why now? Because it's funny. Because I'm bored. Maybe I don't like the cut of your conformist chip. You always freeze up like this? Played our third gig at Cadenza. Little fire broke out. Some drunk gonks tried to put it out with beer. Denny's fro got singed. Wore a wig for a few weeks. Never did get herself any tech head. There you go. Ooh, let me think. Uh, there was a fire? Remember those gonks who... Tried putting it out with beer? <laughs> I almost forgot. Her Johnny started it, actually. Tossed a cig that was still glowing. <laughs> Bullshit. That cig was Carrie's, no doubt. But hey, any trouble's Johnny's fault. Sure is. Still don't believe you were there. But what the hell? Only a real fan can know something like that. Hey, anyways. Gotta educate the youth. Maybe you'll find something special under the table. Come on, have at it. Oh, nice. Samurai concert recording. Vinyl record, vinyl record. Guitar pick. Kind of want that. <laughs> just just because it's a guitar pick. Samurai sturdy stitched cargo pants. 850 eddies. A plenty.
Samurai combat turtleneck. Samurai shirt. Second conflict flight jacket. Aviators. Samurai cap. I think I'll take these. And obviously I'm going to take the concert recording. Uh, I don't think I want that though. Uh, that should do. Thanks, dude. Much appreciated. Take it. Spread the good silver hand word. Death to you know, they say time is the best teacher. Used to think that was true. But look at that guy. 60 at least, but still living in 2020. Guy's your biggest fan. Not happy to meet him? Busaka Tower to smithereens, and it's still standing there. Just the same. Don't want people getting stuck in a rut, stuck in the past. Want them to change. Them and the world. Yeah, something must have changed. In 60 years, something must have changed. Know what changed? The damn facade. Fresh interface plugs, new high fructose scop syrup, and fun fruity flavors. A new face of Arasaka. Same old shit. Different packaging. History repeats Something's itself. Changing. Maybe we can't see it, but there's change on this. Sure. Now almost nobody remembers when a person wasn't just a meat bag full of secondhand implants. Alright. Can we actually listen to uh to that recording we just got? Oh yeah, this is yeah, this is where we saw the guy playing the guitar. Sick. Okay, let's I wanna have a quick look at this thing we just got. That doesn't look any different. Maybe it's under... Oh yeah, I think it's under the jacket. Alright, let's see what the difference is. Okay, alright. Uh, yeah, I like that. Tank top's cool. Alright, upper body. 45, 46. 41 and a half 44.3 is the wolf skull jacket uh, that's actually pretty cool I do like that jacket okay uh, swap out these Oh, the windbreaker pants we picked up. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's that's a look. <laughs> what about these? Yeah, that's cool. I like those. Yeah. Okay. And... I kind of like my combat boots. Uh, actually, they're not bad. Not bad. I can rock that. I got anything? Uh, no, I don't want that. This has two mods. Reduces damage from negative status effects. Increases movement speed. That could be handy. Evasion. Negative status effects. Okay, yeah. Evasion. And movement speed. Definitely. That's cool. It's the only thing I have that has... Uh, Weapon mod slots. All right. All right, let's have a quick breakdown. So we did that quest. Pay for debt to Victor. Occupational hazard. Uh, it is a reach you only if Hal makes it out alive. They're on moderate now, so we could probably try and take a couple of those on. Um, tower graffiti. Shooting range, which we might do. We can 
pick up a couple of these as if we're passing them by. Was it Claire at her garage during the day? Oh, yeah, that's right. That's the person from the afterlife about the street races. Right, gotcha. Okay. Um, we're definitely going to go to the afterlife for the next part of the main quest, which is going to be Ghost Town. I'd like to pick up there. But I think I'm also going to try one of these gigs. I'm not really sure which one. Might be Occupational Hazard. Might be Cyber Psycho Sightings. Not 100%. I'll figure that out in the next part. But until then, guys, thanks very much. And I will see you real soon. Take care.